What's up guys, it's me Jan. For today's video, let's talk about in-demand jo teaching job position for Pinoy teachers. Pero bago po natin simulan tong kwentuhan na to, um, disclaimer lang, ako po pala ay isang uh, digital creator at hindi po tayo nagkatrabaho sa mga in-visa sponsors na ating pinifeature dito sa ating page at sa ating channel at hindi din po tayo nagkatrabaho sa mga in-consultancy <laughs> na trabaho. So, uh, pure on sharing our information na alam po natin para sa ating mga Pinoy teacher na gustong mag-DIY at mag-apply as Pinoy teacher abroad. Kaya, yan, yan So, for this video, pag-usapan po natin ang mga in-demand teaching position. Pero guys, um, ano na lang natin, i-divide natin ang three, three, three categories, categories. Um, Siyempre, yung mga in-demand, like high, medium, at low demand. So, yung mga teaching position para, para mas madali yung maintindihan. So, let's start sa mga high or yung talagang napaka-in-demand na teaching position for teachers dito sa Amerika. So, number one talaga guys, na napaka-in-demand na position as teacher na talagang mas madali ka lang makahanap ng trabaho kung, kung ito yung experience mo at degree mo. Number one talaga guys is the SPED teachers. So, SPED teachers ay napaka-in-demand kasi marami pong position for them. Then, you can, you can, you can be elementary SPED teacher, middle school SPED teacher, at high school SPED teacher. Napakaganda. At hindi lang po, kasi yung SPED teacher is mayroong classroom settings at mayroon din silang small group yung mga ano. So, maraming position po kasi. At sa isang school, pwede hindi lang isang SPED teacher. But it's so challenging. Napaka, we will talk in a different video about SPED teacher guys. Kasi sobrang mas marawak pa yan. Dapat alam mo talaga yung pagiging SPED teacher. <laughs> so, number one talaga guys is SPED teacher. Napaka in demand po nito. So, kung elementary education ka, then you will get SPED, SPED units or SPED masters in SPED. Pwede po yun. Or or high school teacher, English teacher ka din, get master's degree in SPED, pwede po yun. Basta may master's ka, tapos may experience ka, at least two years experience. Or, kahit elementary teacher ka, tapos may inclusion lang, may sudyante doon, tapos kumuha ka lang ng master's ng SPED, pasok pa rin yun guys, as SPED teacher. Kaya, kaya po kayo. Then, second guys, is that, are the elementary teachers. So, elementary teacher, pasok po kayo sa in-demand. Kasi, elementary teacher guys, can teach elementary and middle school. Pwede po yun. Kasi, Napakaganda sa elementary guys is marami. Marami pong schools. Okay? So, marami pong schools. Siyempre, maraming opportunity for teachers. Kaya, second is, are the elementary teachers. Pwede po kayong mag-apply. Basta, nakapagturo po kayo ng three main subjects, the English, Math, and Science. Dapat, napasok po kayo dyan, mga mamang sir. Okay? So, elementary teachers, number two, number three, guys, are the ELA teachers. So, the English Language Arts teacher. English teacher or the AB English teachers. Yung mga may experience sa literature in college, pasok po kayo dyan, mga mamang sir. Dapat lang, meron po kayong supplemental education or units earner or may PNLA po kayo. Alright? Tama ba? Hindi pala. May let exam pala. So, may let po kayo. So, guys, yun po. Pasok po ang mga English language teachers sa top 3 po natin. High school. Good thing po, guys, sa, sa um, ELA, guys, or English language arts, meron po kayo, may chance po kasi maging high school teacher or middle school teacher. At pwede din pag elementary teacher. Wala pong problema. Kasi sa, sa elementary, guys, meron na pong major. Then, isa pa, ELA is main subject po nila. So, meaning hindi po siya sel selective. Oh, no? Elective. So, term na. So, elective. Kasi dapat, hindi sila kagagawin kung hindi sa kukuha ng ELA class. Alright? Kaya, siya isa sa, sa top na priority. Okay? So, number three. Number four, guys, are the math teachers. So, sa math teachers kasi, guys, bakit number four lang? For me. Um, hindi siya elective. Dapat kumuha ka ng math. Pero sa isang school, hindi maraming, hindi, hindi po siya, ano eh, hindi siya maraming teacher. Dapat dalawa lang. Isa lang. Dalawa, isa. Ganun lang eh. Kaysa ELA kasi marami. Marami. So, pa, feel, ano siya kasi guys eh. Sa isang, sa isang school, hindi talaga totally na maraming teachers na kailangan yung, yung math. Pero, possible marami, marami pa rin. Marami pa rin kasi sa, sa sobrang rami ng school. So, math teachers are priority. Alright? So, number four in demand. Number five for me guys is the Science teachers. So, pasok na po yung mga chemistry, biology, yan. Nandun na po sa mga science and health teachers. So, pasok po kayo sa top 5 priority or high in demand na teaching position. Alright? Now, let's go to the middle or the <coughs> para, mi, mi, middle na in demand. So, pwede mag-apply. May chance ma-hire but not so high. Pero still, competitive siya kasi um, yung mga position nito is more on elective siya. Hindi siya totally na dapat kukunin ng mga sudyante. Okay? Pero, may chance po talaga, pa rin talaga to land a job teaching position sa Amerika. So, what are those position? Um, like, PE teacher. Kasi sa PE naman, hindi naman siya ganun talaga ka uh, in demand talaga. PE teacher. Music teacher. Alright? Yan. Um, also, agriculture. So, dito guys, 
mas higher chance yung mga Bachelor of Science in Agriculture tapos kumuha ng mga supplemental education. Okay? Kasi yung bachelor's degree nila is ano na siya, agriculture na. Alright? Unlike sa Bachelor of Secondary Education, major in TLE, mahirap po yun. Or tapos nag-focus nag, nag on agriculture, still okay, possible, kumuha ka na lang ng master's in agriculture para mas focus ka sa agriculture. I, I will talk to that. I, I'll talk about that later. Okay? In different video. Kasi, ma, mataas na kwentuhan po yan. Okay? Then, also, those, um, um, eh, marketing, pwede po yan, nasa middle class po yan. Marketing na mga teachers. And, also, the marketing or the financial, yung mga business, business class, pwede po yan. And then, also, the, um, higher chance also, guys, are those, teachers na ano mga culinary yan pwede po yan mga automotive pwede po kayo may chance po kayo and ano pa ba so yan may mga middle middle na na in demand so hindi masyadong high but may chance okay so yan ano pa ba kung may nakalimutan po ako comment down na lang po guys kung meron pa po at for me yan po yung mga middle middle part na na pwede po mag-apply, okay? Ha, not higher chance, but still, you can still land a teaching position sa Amerika. Now, how about the low? Low din din, So, mga, mga ito guys, yung sobrang mahirapan talaga makahanap ng trabaho sa sa Amerika. Number one, guys, the Filipino major. So, dito say, Bachelor of Secondary Education, major in Filipino, mahirap po kayo maghanap ng trabaho in the US. Unless, kumuha po kayo ng ng, ano guys, ng SPED, okay? Time gap experience as SPED teacher. Kasi, wala naman pong Filipino subject sa US, kaya mahirap po sa inyo makalain ng teaching position. Also, those are running panlipunan majors, and yung mga Philippine history majors, yan, so mahirap. Social, the political science, mahirap po maghanap. And also, isa ito guys, na napakahirap, discussion, yung mga PLE majors. So, also dahil pala guys, yung sa middle class, computer, possible ICT, nasa middle po yan. Then, ito sa low, yung mga majors in um, TLE guys is na, mahirapan po kayo maghanap unless kumuha po kayo ng specific specialization. Yun yung sinabi ko sa inyo na kumuha po kayo ng mga specialization in specialization in computer. Ayan, dapat focus po kayo sa computer. Or kumuha po kayo ng specialization in automotive. Yan po guys. So, yun yung napaka low na <laughs> mahirapan po maglan ng job as teacher sa Amerika. So, yun lang guys. Sana nabiscuss po natin ng maayos yung tatlo na yun. Kung may questions po kayo, just comment down below or send, send a message para masagot ko po ang mga inquiries po ninyo at patulungan ko po kayo. So, yun guys. Uh, sana nagustuhan po ninyo itong video na to. Like and follow our Facebook page and uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. So, sana nakatulong po tayo at follow for more para maroon pa tayo mga DIY information na ating masyashare dito sa ating page at nakatulong pa tayo sa ating mga Pinoy teachers. Ako po pala si Jan. See you again in next vlog. Bye! Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like and follow my Facebook page and subscribe to my YouTube channel. To God be the glory.